So I had two all-in-one bags stall out. I don't know what the hell is going on. They've been in fruiting conditions for two weeks now, and now nothing. So I'm gonna clean this bad boy off. If he's got any crap on him, I'm gonna pull him out of his bag. And we're going to put him into that, and then we're going to put a little bit of substrate on him and see if that works. Because they have should have produced. They should have produced something by now. Um, the other one, I moved into a Ziploc baggie. Um, really squishable. I don't know, like any spot you touch, it kind of does that. It ain't turning green. He don't smell, but he ain't producing any. Oh, looks like we got a little bit of contamination right there. So, probably what happened, he contaminated and stalled the thing out. So, we're going to take this one apart and see if we can either fix it or get it to do what I want it to do. Because it ain't doing nothing at the moment. And all it's doing is driving me crazy. It has been driving me bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. So you can see a little bit of moisture inside this. It's the alcohol. Okay. Operation. I've already cleaned the little thing out so let's grab a towel wipe that out make sure he's good oh side note make sure you got lots of paper towels i've gone through probably four or five rolls of paper towels so far this month so you do go through a lot of paper towels that's it there doesn't smell bad, so I don't know what the hell is going on with these things. I don't know what, why they're stalled out. They're in a perfect humidity, perfect temperature. They just ain't doing anything. This one doesn't smell bad at all. That other one, this one, was starting to get off a, uh, a sweet smell. And as you can tell, that looks like contamination. So that's probably what stalled it out. So, I don't know. Okay, so spray the hands again because I cut something else. I bumped a knob. So yeah, you gotta let your hands dry because uh, if you touch this with alcohol, wet alcohol, um, you will... <laughs> it really won't be the best of time if you grab it with... See how these are still wet? Once that dries, then you can go ahead and grab that mycelium block. But if you grab it right now, um, you can pretty much gonna have a handprint because uh, it'll kill the mycelium. Kind of do like a break and shake on it. I don't know if you can, but it ain't doing anything, and I needed to do something. So if I ruin the bag, I ruin the bag. 
Sometimes you just gotta find out. One good thing about not knowing what the hell I'm doing, I can experiment with stuff. Now, this could cost me this bag, but like I said, this bag has been stalled out not doing anything, so I gotta do something with it or it's just gonna continue being stalled out. And then it'll contaminate and all that. So I just gotta figure out how to get it to uh, start fruiting. Okay. So that is not going to work the way I want it to. Now we clean, 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 clean. And this is not going to be sitting around. This is going to go from here into the fruiting chamber. We ain't playing this game. Like it's going to do what it needed to do. And if it don't, then it's getting thrown away. Clean everything. Let everything kind of just sit there for a moment and disinfect and... Make sure you get it in all the spots it needs to go. Some other one do this. Work fast, but try not to move too much. Now, when your soil, you want your soil to be, when you smash it, make a fist of it and smash it as hard as you can. You want a couple drops. If you got a stream of water coming out of it, it's too wet. So what you can do if it's streaming water, smash it as hard as you can, get water out of it. Start, you just get a drip. And then a lot of times that'll work. This is what it looks like. Probably hard to see. So that one just got put in. That's the one that got put in seven days ago. Today's the seventh day, so hopefully we get something. It is 70 degrees in there and 99% humidity. So 